Hi friends, welcome to Jesus Time today. Let's make our beginning together. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow. It's time to talk to Jesus now. We make our beginning in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, let's start with our song, No, You Can't Keep Jesus' Love in a Box. Can I keep Jesus' love in this box like this? No. And remember, we made our box by going out, down, and fingers back together. No, you can't keep Jesus' love in a box. Love in a box. Love in a box. No, you can't keep Jesus' love in a box. Cause his love will come a bubbling through. What about a jar? Can I keep Jesus' love in the jar? No. Remember, we're going to take the lid on and off the jar. No, you can't keep Jesus' love in a jar. Love in a jar. Love in a jar. No, you can't keep Jesus' love in a jar. Cause his love will come a bubbling through. What about a bag? Can I keep Jesus' love in this really pretty bag? No. Remember, we're going to put things in and out of our bag. No, you can't keep Jesus' love in a bag. Love in a bag. Love in a bag. No, you can't keep Jesus' love in a bag. Cause his love will come a bubbling through. We can keep Jesus' love in our heart and his love will come a bubbling through by the things that we do and the words that we say. So I'll just keep Jesus' love in my heart, love in my heart, love in my heart. So I'll just keep Jesus' love in my heart and his love will come a bubbling through. Today I'm going to read to you from our children's Bible. I'm going to read from the beginner's Bible and we're going to read the story called A Changed Man Today. We've been learning a lot about Saul changing to Paul this week. Saul did not like Jesus's followers. He was on his way to put some of them into jail. Suddenly a bright light flashed around him. Saul fell to the ground. A loud voice asked, Saul, why are you against me? Saul was afraid. He cried out, who are you? The voice replied, I am Jesus, the one that you are against. See the really bright light? Go to Damascus and you will be told what to do. When Saul got up, he could not see. Some men were traveling with Saul and led him to the city. Jesus had also appeared to a man there whose name was Ananias. Jesus led Ananias to Saul. Ananias laid his hands on Saul and said, Jesus sent me to you. You may see again. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, Saul could see. Then Ananias baptized him. After this, God changed Saul's name to Paul. He was a new man. Instead of putting Jesus' followers into jail, he loved them, and he became a follower too. So we learned that Paul was filled with the Holy Spirit and he shared God's love with other people. And in our next couple stories that we're going to learn over the next couple of weeks, we will learn more about who Paul told about God's love to. I think our friend Zippy is going to come and see us today. He told me he had something that he wanted to tell you. I'll let him tell you. Hey there, Zippy. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. What do you have there? I have one of my favorite snacks. Oh, 
Do you friends know what it could be? Looks like some yummy applesauce, Sippy. It is, and it has a secret ingredient inside it. Ooh, well, to make applesauce, what do you think we need? Hmm, did you say apples? I agree. I know what the secret ingredient is, Zippy. It's apples. Yes, and there's one more thing. Read what it says. Another thing to make an applesauce? It says organic, unsweetened, cinnamon applesauce. Oh, is your secret ingredient cinnamon? Yes, I like to put cinnamon in my applesauce and make it taste great. I bet that does taste pretty great. And sometimes you can buy applesauce and it doesn't have cinnamon in it. And when we make different kinds of food zippy, we use ingredients like you were talking about. So in this applesauce, there's apples and they put a little bit of water in there and some cinnamon. That sounds really, really yummy. Makes me hungry for some applesauce right now. So Zippy, why did you bring this applesauce here today? Well, I wanted to talk to you about ingredients, things that we use to make food. Well, I'm glad that you, you, talk, you brought up ingredients because you know what Zippy, in our Bible lesson today, it made me think of a special ingredient that we have. Really? Yeah, it's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit works in our hearts and helps us to do things. Oh, I think I learned a little bit about this in Sunday school. Yes, Sippy, I'm sure you have. The Holy Spirit works in our hearts, our hearts to tell about God's love to other people. He works in our thoughts, in our words, and in our actions. And it all took place because the Holy Spirit is in our heart. Oh, can you say that one more time? Yes, the Holy Spirit helps us with our thoughts and our words and our actions, like the kind things that we do, like cleaning and helping pick things up and washing dishes. And this all took place because of a change in our heart the Holy Spirit living in our heart. That reminds me of the Bible verse, create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Oh yes, Zippy, we learned that Bible verse this week and we learned some actions with that too. It went like this, create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Can you say that with me? Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. You know what? That reminds me of when Paul was then filled with the Holy Spirit and he went and told other people about Jesus' love. And we can go do the same thing, Zippy. The Holy Spirit works inside us and helps us to do that. I'm very thankful I came to talk to you about ingredients today. And most importantly, we got to learn about the Holy Spirit. Yes, Zippy, we did. Well, have a great day, Zippy. Enjoy your yummy applesauce. Maybe I'll have some later too. Bye friends. We'll see you later. Well, that was nice of Zippy to share about his applesauce with us today. We're going to close with the song. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. And then we'll pray after that. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart. Down in my heart, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And remember, joy means happy. And the next one goes, I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. You can give yourself a big hug. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, down in my heart. Down in my heart, I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus, down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And the next one, we're going to do our peace sign. And we'll say, I've got the peace that passes understanding, down in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding, down in my heart, 
Down in my heart, down in my heart, I've got the peace that passes understanding. Down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And we'll close our Jesus time with prayer today. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow. It's time to talk to Jesus now. Dear Jesus, thank you for creating a new heart within us and help us to show your love through our thoughts and our words and our actions to our friends and our families. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for watching over us. And thank you for loving us. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great day, friends.